in the 1400s, Liberty Park would be considered some of the best farmland in the South. At that time, Liberty Park and most areas around it will be considered Fobin Creek. Tidewater Indians inhabited the land. It was very marshy like, but what kept the ground so solid was that there was many long leaf pine trees and live oak trees just about everywhere on the soft pieces of land. When the currents got too high, the Tidewater Indians would build entire walk paths and resting spots inside the trees. By the mid 1500s, Europeans would move in and enslave most of the Indians and sold them in the market next to the West Africans. For two plus centuries, Africans and Indians would be getting sold all over the world until around 1865. A neighborhood just about a mile away would get built up by some freemen fresh out of slavery that bought the land. I already did a video on Liberty Hill. By the 1900s, the broad path, which is known as the Chester Road today, and Rivers Ave would be the closest roads to Liberty Park. The built up of Highway 26 started in Columbia, South Carolina in 1962, and by 1964, it was connected to North Charleston, dividing so many neighborhoods in half like Liberty Park, Russell Dale, Ashley Fosfit, and many more. That caused a lot of traffic on the main roads on Rivers Avenue, and North Charleston started hustling and bustling ever since.